Hey guys, Sean Sampson here, and I'm back with another commentary. Today's commentary is going to be on Berg Productions, aka the Anti T Bone 2004. Like I said, Berg Productions ceased from being the Anti T Bone 2004 about two months ago. And, um,. I'm just gonna call him the anti patron 2004 because that's well fitting. The anti patron 2004? What is he, some sort of Autobot or something? Last time I checked, patron was spelled P A T R E O N. And since he calls Illini Guy 34, Illumini Guy 34. So without further to do, let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Berg Productions with a rant on Illini Guy 34. Uh, his name is actually Illini Guy 34, and whatever you pronounce it, I don't care. If you didn't care how he pronounces Illini Guy's name, then why did you bother correcting him in the first place? A.K. Illuminati Guy 34. What gave you the idea that his name was Illuminati Guy 34? What, because it sounds similar to Illuminati? I don't get it. It couldn't be because Bird Productions with this although dry humor that he's trying to make fun of Illuminati Guy 34. That, and because Bird felt it was easier to say Illuminati Guy 34. This user has been controversial for his social media style rants, his hatred for Encyclopedia Dramatica, and his fanboyism for John Enter. What I'm going to present is evidence to prove that Illini Guy 34 is an egotist and a social media whore. What I refuse to talk about in this rant is the fact that he sold out the Patreon because it is a waste of time. Of course you're going to insult Illini Guy for using a patron because that's what you've always done insult people for using a patron. You know, just because somebody uses patron doesn't mean they're automatically bad. First problem I have with Illini Guy 34 is his username. What is an Illini Guy? What happened to the other 33 Illini Guys? They probably got terminated when they opposed this guy. This is why I've called him Illuminati Guy 34 because that username makes more sense and proves that he is a representative of the YouTube elitists. There is another name I could come up with, but Illuminati Guy 34 is already offensive enough to the conservative users on YouTube. Second problem with Illuminati Guy 34, he's a ripoff of iWake Commentary, aka MacBoy Redux. <laughs> Fake laughter, joy. The thing is with this painfully obvious laughing is that what Burke Productions said wasn't even funny to begin with. That's why your laughter doesn't work, and you're not owning Burke Productions either, especially considering how overly exaggerated the laughter is. God, you cracked me up right there. I mean, you saying that Illinois Guy 34 is a ripoff of MacBoy Redux? <laughs> Why well, was he a ripoff if he became if he be he came before MacBoy Redux? <laughs> To the very root. Ow. First off, I wait commentary sense of humor. I'll link a few videos in the description to back up my point. Second, Illuminati Guy 34 has the same voice as I wait commentary. Are these gentlemen long lost brothers? There's a possibility. Listen to their voices and you'll see what I mean. If you actually watched that whole thing through, you'd realize that he's not bitching about the cartridge itself, he's complaining about how the company's different. Also, you said there shouldn't be a sacrifice in comedy, yet you're whining. Oh, they're making jokes. I mean, make up your mind, man. <laughs> in all 
seriousness though, how do they sound the same? Seriously, explain. How do they sound exactly the same? I mean, seriously, one uses a cartoon character and one uses an, a Power Rangers avatar. They do not sound the same. You are doing so well, up until you said that. First off, what does pictures that are used to represent oneself have to do with the way that a person sounds at all? I'm just curious is all. And you could have easily used this to audio duct while he was setting everything up. Also, he ends up dragging this point out much longer than necessary, so skipping! Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Two out of three? Oh yeah, it supports his claim, even though it didn't... I mean, you even admit it didn't take place at a school! Are you fucking stupid? Refer to my last statement about... them be not being the same, as I am not repeating myself. Well, good. After that terrible point you just made, it doesn't need to be reiterated anyway. Third problem. Illuminati Guy 34 is a social media whore. Don't believe me? According to the search engine on Google, Illuminati Guy 34 has a Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt account. Are you kidding me, Berg? Seriously, are you kid? Are you joking? What's the problem with Illuminati Guy having other accounts? Seriously, it's not your problem. And why do you care if he's you has other accounts? You're nitpicking, just like this guy. Great job, dude! Um... Care to explain who, quote-unquote, this guy is? I don't know who he is. You can't just assume that everyone is gonna know who you're referring to. Which I will elaborate later on why it's a big deal. Much like everyone else that wants to be popular on YouTube, Illuminati Guy 34 will use these sites to help spread his elitist agenda, so channels including mine will forever be ridiculed. This is the kind of guy that has helped get popular channels terminated for violating community guidelines, even though there is no evidence to prove it. How does he get other channels banned? Elaborating! What's that? Fourth problem. Illuminati Guy 34 has a reputation for censoring criticism, just like his lord and savior John Enter. Where's the proof? This comment was originated by Illuminati Guy 34 on a rant on John Enter from a user named Jacob Jones. Uh, hey dude, could you zoom in on the comment because I can barely see it. I can read it just fine. Here's what it says. You took Encyclopedia Dramatica, a satirical site that was ne never meant to be taken seriously or used as a reliable source seriously, Words cannot describe how stupid you are. I don't see where you're trying to get at with the whole I don't see the comment thing, other than maybe you have bad vision. If that's the case, then I'm sorry. A user by the name of Q-R-R-B-R-B-I-R-L-B-E-L went back and forth with Illuminati Guy 34 over the whole Encyclopedia Dramatica mess, which I'm about to get to very soon. Also, the opposers of John Enter massively flamed Illuminati Guy 34 saying that trolling and cyberbullying are the same thing. Guess what, Illuminati Guy 34? If you try making a video justifying trolling and cyberbullying, odds are you are going to get trolled big time. I'm actually kind of confused at this point. Come on, help me, Berg. I'm pretty lost at this point. I mean, Illuminati Guy even likes the video. I don't get it. Likes what video? And also, Berg just told you what his point is. In the midst of his jibber jabber, he said at the very end that if you make a video trying to justify trolling and cyberbullying, then more than likely, you'll end up getting trolled for it. All you gotta do is pay attention. Believe me, it can do wonders for you. So tone down on your fanboyism for John Enter. No, I'm not revising my rants on John Enter because it's not worth the rage at this point. Okay, I will have to agree with you there. I'll let that one slide. But you get nothing else but negativity. 
What do you mean by quote unquote negativity? Do you mean the backlash he gets for his rants, or are you attempting to counter his points? Obviously it's the second one, but you need to be more specific with this stuff. Fifth problem, Encyclopedia Dramatica. According to his commentary on my rant on John Enter, he cut away the evidence I presented courtesy of Encyclopedia Dramatica over John Enter being a ripoff. Illuminati Guy 34 didn't just cut away to state the obvious and skip. He cut me off in the middle of my point. He cut you off because it was a troll site. That's why Illini Guy cut you off. Because you were taking a troll site too seriously. Are you really trying to justify cutting people off in the middle of their point? Here's the thing. No matter how absurd a point may appear, how in the world can you counter a point if you don't hear or see the entire point in question? Let's put this into perspective. Let's say that I have a school book report that I need to work on and the book that I was assigned was boring as hell. I decide that I don't want to finish reading the book, and I only read the first half and got started on the report. The report requires all the information in the book from start to finish. Well, guess what? I never read from start to finish, so I can't complete the report. Or the report was half-assed and thus resulting in a poor grade. When you're commentating, it's all about countering points and correcting flaws. But you can't do so if you don't hear or see the entire point, or else your credibility is going to be deducted by the viewer, plain and simple. If you want to be a credible commentator, in the words of Rhino Mills and many other commentators, let the user in question finish what they are saying before you cut away. Okay, I will have to let you slide on that. What you just said not too long ago, that you weren't going to agree with him anymore. Be a man of your word, or don't say it at all. But here's something I would like to say. <sighs> Maybe he could just deal with it and get used to it. I mean, it's none of your business. It's none of his business that he's the one who got commentated on and pointed out something that a commentator shouldn't do. Man, that was a really horrible point right there. It practically made no sense at all considering that you agreed with him to begin with. Talk about inconsistency. Otherwise, don't do commentaries. Yeah, Illini guy, don't do commentaries because Burke Production is a tough guy and he'll make you quit commentaries. By the way, that's sarcasm. Oh really, I hadn't noticed. Thanks for filling me in. But anyway, it wasn't funny at all. Plus, Burke actually brought up a legitimate point and all you can do is make terrible jokes that make very little sense if at all. Way to prove Bird Productions wrong, Sean. You know why I don't do commentaries? Simple. Introduce my video. Talk about the user in question. Find an avatar. Let the user in question be introduced. Cut away. Continue to the video. Cut away. And the cycle keeps repeating. That's why, in my opinion, the ranting community is better than the commentary community. In my opinion, I think the commentary community is doing much better than the ranting community because you want to know why? Because Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel rants are overused and they keep on getting worse. I mean, Michelle Brock did a rant on Nickelodeon, Emma Cruz did a rant on, on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, and Orange Mario 5 did a com a rant on Nick Jr., which those three videos are awful. And don't forget about that one hilarious video that Pit Rocks did a commentary on. I do gotta agree with the Pit Rocks because that video was horrendous. Hmm, much like this video I'm commentating on right now. Isn't that a coincidence? 
anyways so yeah in my in my opinion the ranting community is even worse than the commentary community okay so now we've resorted to countering opinions with opinions that's great what i got out of this was my opinion is better and superior to your opinion, is all I'm saying. I give you some credit for providing examples though. The next time, try to counter actual points presented that you don't agree with instead of just trying to say something for the sake of interjecting. Maybe you should try it sometime, Illuminati Guy 34. He has done rants. Research, what's that? Back on the Encyclopedia Dramatica thing. He griped about Encyclopedia Dramatica being a satirical site. Now here's my main problem with Illuminati Guy 34. He claims it's a satirical site, yet he griped about it in several rants on his Deviant Art account. Therefore, he's actually taking it seriously, thus making him a butthurt hypocrite. Dude, he. He said it was a satirical site because it was a troll account. So that means you're too taking the site too seriously. Jeez. Illuminati Guy 34, calm down, will ya? Just because Encyclopedia Dramatica is a satirical site does not mean it can't present factual evidence. I am acting XD. No, the factual evidence part was pretty chuckle-worthy because of the exaggeration in his voice. In short, he may be bad at acting, but you are far worse from what I've seen, and in my opinion. Not counting the docs of many people. There are reasons why people earn spots on that site. Whether it's internet drama from the likes of Chris Chan, Spax3, Sailor Moon Red 1, or stupid skits from Smosh or Ray William Johnson, there are factual truths that get people to visit the site constantly. Final problem, his beef with me. Oh yes, I saved the best for last, and here's what makes him look like Eustace Bag, which is bad. It all started on March 1st, 2015 when I made three controversial videos. One of them being on John Ender for legitimately griping about his Patreon page. Another being on Rhino Mills. No, I'm not going to revise that rant since it would be a lost cause among the fanboys of Rhino Mills. Even though I apologized in his parody on me, I still don't like Rhino. Then there's a third video he commentated on which is my two cents on Patreon. My point still stands on many things including what I would personally support. Animation and cooking shows. So you're proving that you're being butthurt by saying that Illini Guy is is basically What's up with all the pausing and fumbling for words? You see, I think this is what dragged the timing in your video. So you're being butthurt because Illini Guy did a commentary on you. Excuse me for a second. Oh, so this is why your video is 21 minutes long. Skipping once again. What is wrong with you, Berg? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Illini guy did a commentary on your videos because you're basically being butthurt towards the guy who guys who don't that have a Patreon. Well, here's some advice. Please don't be butthurt anymore. And please don't make god awful commentaries anymore. Or is that demanding too much? And also, you hate somebody just be because they did a commentary on you. How butthurt could you possibly get? I don't know how you missed that he's also being stubborn because he got commentated on and still clinging onto his opinions about Patreon. Unless the commentary Illini guy did was complete garbage like this particular video that you made and didn't do much to change his viewpoint. Not that it matters at this point, but still, paying attention, like I stated before, can do wonders. 
So Illuminati Guy 34, you want to go to war with me, especially with all the crap talking you have done on social media? Guess what? I hereby declare war on Illuminati Guy 34, you elitist scumbag. You make me regret ever warring with RJ Bansma. Therefore, I want to apologize to RJ for what happened. Here are some examples of Illuminati Guy 34 talking crap on me courtesy of his DeviantArt account. Oh boy, this one is golden. He finally acknowledges that the username I gave him is better than his actual username. That's something Encyclopedia Dramatica ought to take notice of if Illuminati Guy really screws up on YouTube and social media. Here's evidence of him getting butthurt over the issue I just talked about. This evidence was seen on a commentary by half Boiled Hero, who should rename his channel Hard Boiled Hero. This evidence is based on Illuminati Guy's complaint on the bunch of pseudo-intellectuals commentary on John Enter's troll video. Illuminati Guy 34 went absolutely berserk over the people that commentated on it. Okay, I will have to agree that that Illuminati Guy is being a fanboy of John Enter, but here's the thing. He actually regrets doing that. He's actually... He, he is butthurt over the fact that people are doing commentaries on John, but still, he's still a good user no matter what happens. Just because one or two little things happen between Ill and I guy doesn't mean he's a bad YouTuber. I just find it somewhat amusing that you're trying to claim he's not a bad YouTuber, even though you presented points that proves otherwise, such as trolling, being a fanboy, raging, and just being irrational in general. Based on what you said, he sort of is a bad YouTuber, and you're contradicting your own point. I mean, if he does something that's considered bad, then doesn't that make him, I don't know, bad? That's like saying someone decides to pick their nose and claim not to be disgusting. But guess what? No matter how you look at it, it's still considered disgusting. And therefore, it makes that person disgusting. Not to mention you came off as a biased white knight of Illini Guy 34. And also, didn't you say you weren't going to agree with Burke Productions anymore? This is like your third time agreeing with the guy since making that statement. At least you did make mention of Illini Guy 34 regretting his immature behavior. But you should you should have just left it at that. My God, are you the wor one of the worst ranters I have ever seen in the entire co uh, the in the entire community? And you're one of the worst stutterers in the commentary community. I mean, one second you're about to say commentary, and the next you're struggling to say ranting. How about either re-recording the parts where you're stumbling over words, or use a script to make a better commentary? Whether it was Ski Hound, Duke 86 fan, The Masked Star Maker, and Hard Boiled Hero, they all presented good points. Even Rhino Mills presented points in his video on John Enter. There was also some controversy courtesy of Gimply Mirrors when Illuminati Guy 34 commentated on Rhino Mills as his true fifth commentary, and not his official fifth commentary. Since he counted his sixth commentary on me, don't that mean I'm his seventh victim? He decided to call his official fifth commentary the fifth commentary because he decided that the video on Ryan was too bad for him to call it number five. Seriously, dude, he actually regrets making that. Just like I said with Ryan, Ernie regrets making it. Once again, you're being a biased white knight. Regardless if Illini Guy 34 regrets making some video, based on sequential order, it still would be considered his fifth commentary. And what are you two blokes going on about this quote unquote true fifth commentary bullcrap for? Somewhere in the midst, there's a severe lack of logic here. Because if he did regret making this particular video as you claim, then he should have just simply deleted it. And look at that, no more confusion, or trying to twist numbers around. 
Here's another problem I personally have with Illuminati Guy 34. When I introduced myself in one of my videos, back when I was warring with T-Bone 2004, mind you, he immediately laughed and he said how silly my voice is when his voice resembles I Wait commentary. Way to be such a hypocrite, Illuminati Guy 34. Well, he laughed because your voice really is hilarious. And also, he doesn't have a silly voice. His voice is actually more mature. And also, like I said earlier in the video, he's not a ripoff of Macboy Redux. My gosh! Here we go again, countering opinions with opinions. And sure, you did say he wasn't a ripoff in regards to the comparison thing, but all you did was state how the two users have two different avatars or something like that. When that has nothing to do with the way that they sound. Oh, and to my surprise, you also said you weren't going to repeat this very statement, but look at you now, saying the very thing you vowed to never repeat. That's like saying that Half Boiled Hero is a ripoff of Dirt Bike Redden, because they basically have the, design the same designs for their characters. Dear gosh. You know, you're curious on what's wrong with Bird Productions? I'm curious on what's wrong with you. This entire commentary has just been an absolute disaster from the get-go. Somehow, avatars equate to how a person sounds. Yep, sounds perfectly logical to me. At least I wait commentary is funnier than you. If he commentated on my videos, he would have taken me a lot more serious than you did. That laughter of yours immediately killed the impact of your commentary on me. Next time you do a commentary on me, GET SERIOUS, ILLUMINATI GUY 34 This point is pointless because he is always mature and serious in his commentaries. Like in his commentary on Ryan, his commentary on Jason, his commentary on Dinosaur Junior Freak 1, his commentary on Jason with two other commentators, his commentary on you, his commentary, and his commentary on me. Seriously, dude, this point is pointless. How would you like it if I wait commentary laughed at your voice because it was similar to his? It would hurt you, wouldn't it? I said this before, and, I s and I'm not going to repeat myself. He's not a ripoff of Macboy Redux, nor does he even have the same voice. Says he's not going to repeat himself. Repeats himself directly afterwards. Bravo, Sean Sampson. You truly are one of the worst commentators I have ever had the displeasure of watching. This may be harsh, but it's the truth. You are a complete imbecile, dude. Have you even watched both of his video, their videos? Because they don't have the same exact voice. I don't know though, if Bird Productions actually provided clips comparing I Wait commentaries in Illini Guy's videos, I'm pretty sure he's seen their videos. Do you, do you even have a brain? Do you? Now, in the light of me being a recent bandwagon of the commentary community, since the people of BOP are scared of me, I will say this though, Illuminati Guy 34 may have a couple of good videos out there, but why is he promoting Power Rangers, Transformers, and Ponies? Oh yeah, to cover up the fact that he wants to kill people that oppose him, including myself. When did Illini Guy ever say that he pe he would kill people? You know, I'm just asking because... You didn't- you can't elaborate. What's grammatically correct is, you need to elaborate, or you have to elaborate. 
I wouldn't be surprised if him and his entourage of representatives from the Illuminati tried to find me and kill me. To be serious, though, this war that I just declared on Illuminati Guy will probably be the Chris Boars and James Rolfe style war on logic. In other words, I'm the Chris Boars of the ranting community while Illuminati Guy 34 is the James Rolfe of the ranting community. We'll see who gets the upper hand in the years to come. Final message to Illuminati Guy 34 in this rant. If you keep on talking crap about me on DeviantArt, then I will make another rant on you. Keep giving me hate. You're just giving me leverage to expose you and your people. Anyway, this is Berg Productions with a rant on Illuminati Guy 34. Thank you and good day. Now that the video is finally over, time to give out my final thoughts. This video was awful. Both of these videos were awful. As a matter of fact, I think awful is an understatement. I mean, the lack of research. There's a lack of research. Really now. So, I guess all those screenshots, him providing some with some being in all caps, good points, links in his video description, and clips comparing two different users classifies as quote-unquote lack of research. It would have been understandable if you said that he did poor research, though. How he made me laugh so many times, and finally, his points were pointless. His points were pointless, yet you agreed with about three or four of them. Even though you said you wouldn't agree with his points anymore, after the very first time you agreed with him. You want to talk about laughable. Your very video is the definition of laughable. It's like he's trying to defend himself. He is trying to defend himself. Throughout the entire video, actually. And even then, what's wrong with defending yourself? He you said that as if it's a bad thing or something. Well, here's some advice, Berg. Please take criticism and please stop insulting people for having a patron. Seriously, you're se acting so immature around people that have a patron. Gosh! He did take criticism. You just don't know about it because you're behind in the times. And also, he doesn't rant on people who have a patron anymore. Or rant at all for that matter. Now granted, he still doesn't like people using Patreon for what he considers as unnecessary, but I digress. You want to talk about poor research, sheesh. So this is Sean Sampson and I'm signing out. So again, if you have any requests for future commentaries, go on to my discussion box on my channel. This is Sean Sampson and, and I'm signing out. Now, I'm going to go work on my next commentary, and my next commentary is going to be on Mike Johnson. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I think this guy is great, but his commentary on Future Blood was just a mess. So, see you in that commentary. Sean Sampson, out. After my recent playthrough of Rayman Legends, which is a good game you should try it out, I'm in a Rayman mood. So let's choose a character from that game. No, Rayman, it's not you. Aww. Here's my actual avatar. Absolutely no one gives a fuck about which avatar you're using. Just get on with the goddamn commentary. Perfect. Let's get started. Illuminati Guy 34, he's a ripoff of I Wait commentary. AKA Macboy Redux, to the very root. How? First off, I wait commentary sense of humor. I'll link a few videos in the description to back up my point. Why would you just put an example in the video? It will save us a lot more time. Heck, if people didn't look at the link, then they won't get your point. Second, Illuminati Guy 34 has the same voice as I wait commentary. Are these gentlemen long lost brothers? There's a possibility. Listen to their voices and you'll see what I mean. If you actually watch that whole thing through, you'll realize that he's not bitching about the cartridge itself, he's complaining about how the company's different. Also, you said there shouldn't be a sacrifice in comedy, yet you're whining, Oh, they're making jokes! I mean, make up your mind, man!
and you could easily use this to audio duck while he was setting everything up. Also, he ends up dragging this point out much longer than necessary, so skipping! Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Two out of three? Oh yeah, it supports his claim, even though it didn't- You even admit it didn't take place at a school! Are you fucking stupid? While I don't have the greatest headphones in the world, I could still tell the difference between their voices. I highly doubt you need a great set of headphones, or even headphones at all, to tell the differences in their voices. And if you can tell the difference as you claim, then why not tell us, the audience, the difference? There's nothing wrong with going more in depth with your points. Third problem. Illuminati Guy 34 is a social media whore. Don't believe me? According to the search engine on Google, Illuminati Guy 34 has a Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt account, which I will elaborate later on why it's a big deal. Much like everyone else that wants to be popular on YouTube, Illuminati Guy 34 will use these sites to help spread his elitist agenda so channels including mine will forever be ridiculed. This is the kind of guy that has helped get popular channels terminated for violating community guidelines even though there is no evidence to prove it. Any examples of what channels you got taken down? No? I guess we should act like sheeps then. Problem. Encyclopedia Dramatica. According to his commentary on my rant on John Enter, he cut away the evidence I presented courtesy of Encyclopedia Dramatica over John Enter being a ripoff. Illuminati Guy 34 didn't just cut away to state the obvious and skip. He cut me off in the middle of my point. He skipped it because, as he stated, a Wikipedia is a Dramatica is a satirical site, making your point fall through. Wikipedia Dramatica? I had no idea that such a website even existed. I think what you meant was Encyclopedia Dramatica. I really don't see how you missed that, considering that you just saw the picture containing its full name. And oh uh, boy, we have yet another complete and utter fucking moron in the commentary community trying to justify cutting people off in the middle of their point. Why don't you drop this white knight act and actually apply some damn logic? How the fuck can you counter a point if you don't hear or see what the entire point is, regardless of how ridiculous it appears to you? Besides, I would think that the more ridiculous a point is, the easier it is to destroy, and thus giving you more credibility as a commentator. I mean, if a point is really so fucking bad to where you don't want to hear the whole thing, then the simple solution would be to omit or skip it entirely. Not cut someone off while they're presenting a point, fucking retard. You know why I don't do commentaries? Simple. Introduce my video. Talk about the user in question. Find an avatar. Let the user in question be introduced. Cut away. Continue to the video. Cut away. And the cycle keeps repeating. That's why, in my opinion, the ranting community is better than the commentary community. How is it better? You never explain how is it good. You only explain the quote-unquote bad things in the CC. Also, name good ranters to prove your point. But if you listen closely, he didn't state anything quote-unquote bad about the commentary community. Berg Productions is just simply whining because the process of making a commentary takes significantly longer to make as opposed to rants. Now, had he actually caught on to that, then you could have mentioned how he likes to make cartoons and does animation, which takes significantly longer to make than commentaries. And he even complains from time to time about how long animation takes. So. Since he likes animation, but hates making commentaries for taking so long to make, this makes him a hypocrite. You could have been easily destroying Berg Productions right now, especially considering how easy it is to destroy him. But thanks to your inability to pay attention, I'm doing the destroying for you. And not only that, but your point was way fucking off, and didn't counter a damn thing, or have jack shit to do with what Berg said. Maybe you should try it sometime, Illuminati Guy 34. Back on the Encyclopedia Dramatica theme. He griped about Encyclopedia Dramatica being a satirical site. 
Now here's my main problem with Illuminati Guy 34. He claims it's a satirical site, yet he griped about it in several rants on his Deviant Art account. Therefore, he's actually taking it seriously, thus making him a butthurt hypocrite. No, he got serious because someone said the site is fact. Okay. There seems to be a lot of tension and misconceptions about Encyclopedia Dramatica and what it's all about. ED was simply created for the lols. You know, to make people laugh. That's why there's all this crazy shit on there and it's littered with jokes and internet memes out the fucking ass. Now, when it comes to ED and facts, the simple truth of the matter is, yes, ED does present facts whether any of you oversensitive pussies want to accept this or not. The thing is though, the people who write these articles need to have much knowledge as towards what they're talking about when it comes to the person who is spreading drama and provide evidence to prove that what they're saying is the case or else what they're saying is considered slander, which is against the law. Granted, they still toss in jokes and all this other stupid shit, but regardless of that, it doesn't make it any less of a fact. Now, when it comes to using ED as a reliable source, since the site is satirical, then no, it's not a reliable source. Because there's too many exaggerations, hyperboles, and personal opinions thrown into the mix a lot of times. ED even says itself not to take the site seriously, so I really don't understand why people are being so bitchy over nothing. Illuminati Guy 34, calm down, will you? Just because Encyclopedia Dramatica is a satirical site does not mean it can't present factual evidence. Not counting the docs of many people, there are reasons why people earn spots on that site. Whether it's internet drama from the likes of Chris Chan's, Facts 3, Cinnamon Red 1, or stupid skits from Smosh or Ray William Johnson, there are factual truths that get people to visit the site constantly. Final problem, is beef with me. Oh yes, I saved the best for last, and here's what makes him look like Eustace Bag, which is bad. It all started on March 1st, 2015, when I made three controversial videos. One of them being on John Ender for legitimately griping about his Patreon page. Another being on Rhino Mills. No, I'm not going to revise that rant since it would be a lost cause among the fanboys of Rhino Mills. Even though I apologize in his parody on me, I still don't like Rhino. Then there's a third video he commented on, which is my two cents on Patreon. My point still stands on many things, including what I would personally support. Animation and cooking shows. So Illuminati Guy 34. You wanna go to war with me, especially with all the crap talking you have done on social media? Guess what? I hereby declare war on Illuminati Guy 34. You elitist scumbag. You make me regret ever warring with RJ Bansma. Therefore, I want to apologize to RJ for what happened. You know, if you really don't value what Berg is saying, because that's the vibe I'm getting here, then you should have just skipped what he was saying. The way I picked up on this is because you didn't even bother to counter what he was saying. The only time speeding something up is necessary is when a person is talking way too slow so you can interject. Here are some examples of Illuminati Guy 34 talking crap on me courtesy of his DeviantArt account. Oh boy, this one is golden. He finally acknowledges that the username I gave him is better than his actual username. That's something Encyclopedia Dramatica ought to take notice of. Isn't it me, or that comment is in what he thinks it is? Nowhere it says that he likes the name. But heard over the issue I just talked about. This evidence was seen on a commentary by Half Boiled Hero, who should rename his channel Hard Boiled Hero. This evidence is based on Illuminati Guy's complaint on the bunch of pseudo intellectuals commentary on John Enter's troll video. Illuminati Guy 34 went absolutely berserk over the people that commentated on it. Whether it was Ski Hound, Duke 86 fan, The Masked Star Maker, and Hard Boiled Hero, they all presented good points. Even Rhino Mills presented points in his video on John Enter. Here's the thing that video was four months ago! You might consider that he's regretting doing that. There was also some controversy courtesy of Gently Mirrors when Illuminati Guy 34 commented on Rhino Mills as his true fifth commentary and not his official fifth commentary, since he counted his sixth commentary on me. Don't that mean I'm his seventh victim? Here's another problem I personally have with Illuminati Guy 34. When I introduced myself in one of my videos, back when I was warring with T-Bone 2004, mind you, he immediately laughed and he said how silly my voice is when his voice resembles I Wait Commentary. Way to be such a hypocrite Illuminati Guy 34. At least I Wait Commentary is funnier than you. If he commentated on my videos, he would have taken me a lot more serious than you did. That laughter of yours immediately killed the impact of your commentary on me. Next time you do a commentary on me, Get serious, Illuminati Guide 34! While all comedy does not kill the mood of the video, as long as it doesn't come out of nowhere, like there's a complaint about death, then there's like a dancing monkey out of nowhere. Mm, what? I... What? 
Are you fucking mentally impaired or something? Seriously, what is with you and your inability to pay attention? Not once did Berg mention anything about Illinois guy making or telling jokes about him. He just simply wants Illinois guy to take him a bit more seriously because Illinois guy laughed at Berg Productions because of how his voice sounds. Once again, your point doesn't have jack shit to do with what Berg Productions stated. You truly are a failed commentator, cool boy. I am just literally flabbergasted towards your blatant stupidity. How would you like it if I wait commentary laughed at your voice because it was similar to his? It would hurt you, wouldn't it? Now in the light of me being a recent bandwagon of the commentary community, since the people of BOP are scared of me, I will say this though. Illuminati Guy 34 may have a couple of good videos out there, but why is he promoting Power Rangers, Transformers, and ponies? Oh yeah, to cover up the fact that he wants to kill people that oppose him, including myself. I wouldn't be surprised if him and his entourage of representatives from the Illuminati tried to find me and kill me. To be serious, though. Wait, 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 what? To be serious? Well then, the video felt okay, um. Well, I can't take it serious, so the video's bad. Guys, he made a joke, so the video's bad. There's nothing really to be said about the video. Okay. But to be serious, the video's bad because he brings up points that either are irrelevant or baseless facts. Well, at least you sort of didn't screw up on your final thoughts. And technically, not every point Berg presented was baseless facts. For example, the Mr. Enter thing. How about picking out certain points next time to support your claim? Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Okay, hello. This is Jim Zek the Mighty Bug here and I want to say something. It's Tinder a rent. A mini rent. Just call it a rent. But anyway, I will make a rent. Okay, I will be renting on Judgment of Spreaders. Okay, you only see a sneak preview of a series and you think you know everything about that series and instantly call it crap. Well, I say, you're an idiot. You need to at least watch a full episode before you say something stupid like that. I uploaded my announcement of KBO's quest and you swarm over it saying stuff out your butt and you haven't even seen an episode. Stop it right now. We don't want your judgment and we don't need it either. Leave Spriders alone. And I will upload my first episode whether you like it or not. And yes, I recall so what? It's none of your business. You can call me and my friends, whatever you want, but I'd like to see you do better anyway. Second part of this rant. Recolor haters seriously get the point. Some people do not want to be original. Some people just need a base to make things. Leave them alone. Let us be, we do not ask for your opinion. So do not give it to us. We don't care if you want to speak out. Hating is wrong, and you will pay for it. Mean comments are not welcome to us. Try it and you will know what it's like to be blocked and to have any record of your hater vanish from the pages you spread it on like butter. Okay, my rent is over. I'm sorry I'm not online much, but the first episode of Chaldeo's Quest is being uploaded after this rent. Goodbye. So yeah, you guys get the picture. That video was so much of an easy target, I bet any one of you who just watched it could easily counter his points and destroy him effortlessly. Plus, I didn't want to do a Speakonia on Speakonia video because I figure it may be too annoying for you guys. So, I'm sticking with this voice thing and actually talking naturally to you for a change. That aside, I decided to keep digging deeper and then I found this creep. So, without further ado, let's begin with the punishment of Shade Vor. Well, isn't this truly a work of art we have in front of us? First off, what the fuck is up with those deformed Easter egg tits? And then, the bodies and the way it's drawn look stiff as fuck. I mean, who the fuck has their arms completely straight down to their waist? Not to mention those bloated hands and fingers. 
Like, there's no curvature to the arms at all. And dude, talk about a muffin top. I thought Homer Simpson had it bad, but this, this is just fucking ridiculous. Your bodies in general look completely anatomically incorrect. Now, let's take a look at their feet. Their ever so bloated feet that looks like they're about to burst out of Sahara's sandals at any given moment. Also, did you even attempt to change their obviously circular heads with plaster sonic eyes in them and a few twigs as ponytails sticking out? But, aside from those nitpicks, that is one hell of a dynamic background you got going on. It doesn't look bland or look like it was done in Microsoft Paint in less than a few lousy seconds at all. But, I'll give you this much credit. At least you don't recolor and actually attempt to draw your shit. Even if it is shit. Now, I don't know if English is your first language, but even if so, what's grammatically correct is, I don't think so, not I think no. I don't know anyone who talks like that. Just saying. Five minutes with an S on the end, indicating that more than one minute has passed by. It's called plural, if you didn't know. Next time, actually proofread this shit so you won't have so many grammatical mistakes. Also, how is you can't be that mad? A question when she's making a statement. Either a period or an exclamation point needs to take the place of that question mark. But this lamp said different. This fucking video is just a grammatical train wreck from some dumb motherfucker who was so fixated with this sickening and disturbed fetish, he practically butchers the English language in the process. Also, is she even holding the lamp? To me, it looks like the lamp is levitating behind her fingers. There's no indication of a handle or anything. I wish to absorption. Don't you mean, I wish to absorb? Also, spoiler alert, motherfuckers. Some really fucked up shit is going to occur after this. Yes! That makes so much more sense, as opposed to this fetish bullshit. Fuck, Mickey. At least Sahara has some damn sense. I think I'm getting a little too carried away. What I meant to say is, fuck Shadevor and his obvious pandering to what appears as some sort of an attempt of a plot towards his disgusting fetish. So here's a solution, go and eat some fucking lunch instead. I really don't see why Mickey needs to be subjected to swallowing someone whole just so the nut job known as Shade for and all his other mentally disturbed pals can cream their fucking pants when this is all said and done. You owe me. No, you mean you owe me, as in... Ah, uh, fuck it.
What the fuck? What in the flying fuck? Oh my goodness, man. Never mind the slowly dropping lamp there. Why the belly thing? Just... Why? This is some abnormal shit right here. This is not what normal people get off to. You see, it's mentally broken fucks like you that really makes the Sonic fan base look fucking bad. But then again, the Sonic fan base reputation was ruined a long time ago. I'm speechless right now. I really fucking am. I am literally shaking my head at this and how completely fucked up this is. Now, I can keep going on about how beyond fucked up this shit is, but that gets to be a little too redundant. But, looking at this logically and realistically, if you notice her outside underwear she has on, it covers part of her belly. Now, here's some bit of realism for you. If her stomach was actually that fucking big, or in this case, if she was able to, able or capable of swallowing someone of the same size of her whole, wouldn't just her stomach hang over her pants? I mean, unless she had her pants onto her belly, then this would work. But, that isn't the case. So, realistically, this does not work. This shit is fucking retarded. The story, the sad attempt of a plot, characters, Shade War himself, everything about this video suffers from retardation. Okay, we just got some Nazo Unleash type shit with the fur color changing bullshit and she disappears. I hope this signals the end. I've just about had it with this shit. Oh, never mind. <sighs> Fuck. She only turned into a Danny Phantom or Danny's cousin, virgin, of Amy Rose, or Sonya from Sonic Underground. Mm, wait, that's a fucking wolf? She looks nothing like a damn wolf. And also, the genie wolf? Really? That's the best you could come up with? Oh, and another minor nitpick. That genie tail is poorly drawn. You know that curve line tool in Microsoft Paint? Use that next time. It'll make your drawing look a hell of a lot better.
fuck this video. Shade War, you need help, okay? This shit is not fucking normal. And the thing is, you're so fixated and sexually fascinated with this vorophilia bullshit that you're not taking the time to proofread and spell check all your little comic bubbles. Last thing, you and your pals can go try and swallow each other whole for all I care.